In part two, chapter 10 of Madame Bovary, Emma grows paranoid after Rodolphe's warning about their affair. She and Rodolphe begin to meet in the garden after Charles falls asleep. But Rodolphe begins to grow restless at Emma's incessant sentimentality. Emma notices that Rodolphe is not as tender and sweet with her as before. She receives a letter from her father that makes her recall the happiness and freedom of the old days. And she thinks about what has made her so unhappy since then. As Rodolphe and Emma begin to grow distant, Emma wonders why she can't just love Charles. In part two, chapter 11 of Madame Bovary, hardworking Ome has read about a new cure for clubfoot. Emma convinces Charles that he should learn how to perform the operation to enhance his reputation as a doctor. Charles studies the procedure, then nervously performs it on the man in the village who has the affliction. Emma is delighted that the operation is initially a success. This will mean more money and fame for the Bovaries. A few days later, the man's foot grows infected, gangrene sets in, and the leg must be amputated. Emma is convinced of Charles's mediocrity. When she meets Rodolphe in the garden that night, she renews her passion for her lover. In part two, chapter 12 of Madame Bovary, Emma begins to suggest to Rodolphe that they run away together. Continuing to grow weary of her emotional nature, he dismisses the idea. Emma's words mean very little to him. He sees her merely as his mistress, one in a line of many. He observes that the charm of novelty, falling down slowly like a dress, exposed only the eternal monotony of passion, always the same forms and the same language. Fed up, Emma begs Rodolphe to take her away with him. In anticipation, she orders a cloak and a traveling trunk from Monsieur Leroux, who finds it suspicious that she claims she is not traveling anywhere soon. She and Rodolphe plot their escape, a shopping trip in a nearby city from which they will take the train. They meet in the garden the night before the planned escape, where Rodolphe reassures her that everything has been taken care of. But as he walks away from her, Rodolphe convinces mm. himself that the plan cannot mm -hmm. happen. He cannot have a child and consequent expenses on his hands. He's not going to go through with it. <laughs>